Uh, let's get started with that. And we do begin this evening uh, with uh, Edmonton police and a very interesting story. A man known as the Mill Woods Rapist is now facing charges in the killing of an Edmonton woman five years ago. 38-year-old Dana Fash has now been charged with second-degree murder in the death of Jeanette Marie Cardinal. The body of the 40-year-old mother of five was found in an apartment suite in North Edmonton in February of 2011. Homicide detectives did identify a probable suspect at the time of the initial investigation, but there was insufficient evidence to lay charges. The historical homicide units has submitted additional forensic evidence to a specialized crime lab and arrested Fash on Monday. The cause of death is not being released at this time as the investigation continues. Police say changes in technology leading to better results with some of this forensic evidence. Through some consultation with the RCMP lab, we were able to identify some additional evidence that we could consideration for additional testing, uh, which ultimately provided us additional grounds to uh, assist in this moving forward with these charges. I spoke with them on the 20th, uh, or part, some of the family members on the 20th, and uh, it was emotional. And uh, I'm, I'm just happy we were able to bring some closure to them. Get those type of records. Bash was released from custody just two weeks ago. Police issued a warning at the time to the public because they considered him to be a violent sex offender who posed significant harm to the community. He was previously convicted of two violent sexual assaults in the Mill Woods area in the mid 1990s. Both attacks taking place when he was 16 years old. Fash is now in custody and is set to appear in court on January 5th. A warning for holiday shoppers. Don't leave your vehicles running and unlocked. Cars and trucks left idling in parking lots are a prime target for thieves and that led to a spike in thefts. As of November 1st, police have received over 60 reports of stolen vehicles that were left running. Many were shoppers trying to run into a store quickly while keeping their vehicles warm. EPS says more than half the thefts came in the first two weeks of December during the cold snap. There are also plenty of cases of gifts being taken from vehicles. That it's really important to be in the moment, uh, to not leave things lying in plain view in your vehicle. And obviously, if you don't have an automatic vehicle starter that will shut off if somebody does steal it, because it only takes a few seconds, five to 20 seconds, to have your vehicle stolen. People leaving property in their vehicles, not locking it in the trunk. You also have to be cognizant that the bad guys, they have methods. So they may actually have spotters. Um, at busy times of the year, actually in parking lots, looking for people who have left their car running or looks like they've been shopping a lot and they can see those packages displayed in plain view. Police say automatic vehicle starters are designed to shut off the engine if someone attempts to drive away without a key. Well, customers of a West End coffee shop may have been exposed to hepatitis A. Officials say a worker at the Second Cup on 89th Avenue and 149th Street has a confirmed case of that infection. Anyone who visited the location on December 17th or 18th between 3 and 10 p.m. may have been exposed. AHS, though, says the risk to the public is low, but that they put out a precaution because hepatitis A is a serious infection. Health officials say anyone who ate or drank at the location should monitor themselves or their family for symptoms up until February 6th. Hepatitis A is a liver infection caused by a virus with symptoms including fatigue, nausea, abdominal pain, poor appetite, and fever. The coffee shop has since been cleaned, inspected, and approved to operate by health inspectors. Uh, he is indeed a Canadian icon, and Gord Downey's fight with terminal brain cancer struck a chord with people across the country this year earning him the title of the Canadian Press Newsmaker for 2016. The tragically hip frontman is the first entertainer to receive the title. Downey was voted to the top spot by news editors and directors across the country for his widespread impact on Canadian culture and his advocacy for Aboriginals. His public struggle with his looming death seemed to connect deeply with most Canadians. The outpouring of support and grief for him during his farewell tour this summer was unprecedented. Downey edging out Prime Minister Justin Trudeau for the top spot. Well, a massive frozen fortress is starting to take shape in our river valley. 
Castle made of ice is ready for you to explore down at Horlack Park. This year's castle is almost twice the size of the winter wonderland that Cruz erected last year. A ramp is also being built along the outer wall of the castle that will allow visitors to climb to the top of the structure and look down. The fountain in the center of the courtyard, the slide and throne room will also return again this year. About 30 people have been working on the project each and every day. More than 100 sprinkler heads are spraying almost constantly. Thousands taking in the popular attraction last year during its inaugural run. The castle officially opens December 30th, and it will stay open as long as weather permits. All right.